First of all, you should cast your minds back perhaps to 1931. I remember this very well. Most of uh, you won't. But uh, John Maynard Keynes, an economist who you've probably had to uh, learn about or at least heard his name from time to time, implied that a sound banker is unfortunately not one who foresees danger and avoids it, but who goes down with the rest of his mates at the same time. What is a credit crunch, a recession, and why are they apologising? I mean, I think I know the answer to this one, at least to uh, some extent, because uh, I lent my brother £20 last weekend, and then I found out that I was the third largest lender in the United Kingdom. Transnational leadership, we really want to go look at the experience also of the other people, compare it, go deeper, go wider. And then what we want to create is uh, leadership. We want to inspire people to lead change with the ethics we learn, with the, uh, the values we teach. And that's uh, we think should be the mission to create people who in an ethical and in a well thought through way can lead change in their respective countries when they come back. What is a credit crunch? Some people, I mean George Bush when he was still in power thought it was some sort of uh, breakfast cereal with uh, sugar coated derivatives and uh, added percentage to it. So what we have is uh, a program where with companies they can kind of borrow their talent to us and uh, from September onwards they can do 11 months with us an MBA. The companies contractually can either uh, put them on a uh, sabbatical leave, unpaid, or they can pay minimum wage. And they give a guarantee to their employees that afterwards they can come back. If the economy gets better and if the economy is still worse and they cannot handle the cost, then the MBAs, by the way, is a, what you can call a farewell present. More complex for the market. But to come back on my Kellogg's Conflex uh, example, what happened is that basically they try to sell the Conflex the way they were selling them in the United States. Like in a box as big as, a, as the table, something that is huge. And if the Indian um, customers say we want to try it, but they didn't want to buy uh, five kilos of Conflex in one shot. So when they adjust the packaging for like uh, something that is like 200 grams for people to try it and to get used to it, then they start to see their sales uh, booming a little bit. And uh, I'd like you to consider the case of Marvine Holterman. There she is, 63 years old. She had not worked for 18 years and by her own confession had been drinking approximately one and a half bottles of vodka a day. And the problem started when in uh, November 2006 she had owned this house for some 25 years previously but as she had not worked for a number of years and was running out of funds, applied to this uh, gentleman here, Mr. Ribsky of uh, Integrity Funding, for a mortgage. Mm -hmm. 